Today we're going to look at how to control those windows that pop out in the lower right hand corner of Windows 10. Those are actually called notification windows. And while they can be helpful, they can also be annoying. We're going to take a look at how you can have control of them. The first thing we have to do is we have to get into the notification area of the Windows 10 settings. There are two ways that you can do that. I don't usually do this, but today I'm going to show you both ways to get there. In the lower right hand corner of Windows 10, your toolbar, if that's where your toolbar is at the bottom, you have a little, it almost looks like a square or a monitor. And if you put your mouse on it, it'll say something about notifications, either that you don't have any new ones or it'll say there are so many new notifications. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that. At the very top, you see Manage Notifications. I'm going to click there, and it opens Notifications and Actions. Now, that's one way to get to Notifications and Actions. That's actually a pretty fast way, and it's the one I usually use. But let me close this and show you a second way to get there. We can go to the Start menu, and we can come up two icons to the Settings and click on Settings. And under System, which is the very first category, you see it says Notifications. So we'll click on that. And then in the left-hand column, we can go to Notifications and Actions. So those are the two primary ways that you can get to this window, Notifications and Actions. Now let's take a look at the different options that we have. First of all, we can turn all notifications on or off. As you see, it says notifications, get notifications from apps and other senders. In this case, mine is on. But if I wanted to, I could change that to off. And now I would not get any notifications. All right, except I might get these two that are checked down here. You see those did not gray out. I might get those notifications, but everything else is shut off. So I'm going to turn that back on because you do want to have them on. But there are some options here. The first one is show notifications on the lock screen. If I do lock my computer from time to time, I could see notifications. I could check mark that or not check mark it. Show reminders and incoming voice over IP calls on the lock screen. Allow notifications to play sounds. Now, I currently have that on, but sometimes the sounds are annoying. So if you find that you don't want the sounds, you're okay with having the notifications, you just don't want the sounds, you take the check mark out of that, and now you won't get sounds from your notifications. The next one is show me the Windows welcome experience after updates. Get tips, tricks, and suggestions as you use Windows. Um, those you can leave checked or unchecked. All right. Now, here's the very important part. Get notifications from these senders. And then what is listed is the, your different applications that can give you notifications. I'm going to point out two that I always turn off. And you'll see it here as I scroll down. Microsoft Edge. Now that's the new Microsoft Edge that is built on Chromium, very similar to Google Chrome because Google Chrome is also built on Chromium. Um, I turn those off. And then the next one I turn off is Google Chrome. Now, I also happen to have Google Chrome Beta, which is unlikely that you have that. And I have that one turned off. Now, the reason I turn these off, when I'm surfing in either Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome, if you leave those on, that's where you get those things, ads, uh, all kinds of things pop up in the lower right-hand corner of the browser when you're um, you know, surfing. And they're just annoying. I don't want those. So I absolutely turn those off. Now, I also turned off Outlook, which is my email software, Microsoft Office Outlook, 
because I get so many emails that if I had that notification turned on, why there would just be a constant window in the lower right-hand corner. So I've turned that off. But I can look here at all my different apps, Microsoft News, I left that on, Cortana, she's on. And, of course, you won't have all these same applications that I do. You may have some that I don't have. But this is the place to look and make sure that if you don't want the notifications from that particular app, you turn it off. And it's very easy to turn off. Like, for instance, Outlook, if I wanted that back on, I would simply click on the right-hand side. It says on. And then I could go back and turn it off. Now, one other feature about notifications, you can also say how you want to be notified. For instance, if I look at Word, it's on, and see it says banners and sounds. If I have the sound option turned on above, which I did, I'll hear a sound when I get a Word notification. But I can click on that, and now I can change um, where I want the notifications to show, um, I can turn off the sound just for Word if I want. And I can say the priority of notifications in the Action Center. The Action Center, that's that little right-hand corner that I showed you where we first went. That is the Action Center or notification window. All right, so I can decide how I want to be notified from Word once I have it on. Now I'll go back. And so there are the ways that you can change notifications. There are so many things you can do. There are so many ways that you can change the notifications and only have the ones that are helpful and eliminate the ones that are annoying. As I said, I find Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome, I find those to be very annoying and I just turn them off. This is how you get to it. These are the way you can turn them on and off, and you can also adjust how you get notified. So something could be on, but you maybe won't get sounds from it. You'll only get a banner. Whatever way you want to do it, this is the place to make your changes. And that's it for now. By the way, I just want to remind you, please, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do that. Just hit the subscribe button below this video and you'll receive notifications of all the videos that we post.